Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today I want to go through how to send and receive voice messages and also kind of use that voice call or the drop-in feature there on your Amazon Echo or your Alexa enabled devices. So let's get right to it. I'm going to show you how to do all those different things and show you a few settings there within that part of the application. Let's go. What you're going to need here is to open up your Alexa app. Now, this came right up for me, this new feature, but if it doesn't, I'll show you kind of in the middle of the, the video here what you actually have to click on to go and get this to pop up. So go ahead, get started here, and then what you're going to do is you're gonna actually put in your name. So you're really creating a profile for a messaging service here. Now, Amazon wants to upload your contacts to the Amazon service, which it will help you with both calling and messaging. So I went ahead, I did that in this case because I wanted to use my Echo here as a calling device and also as a messaging device. Now you do have to give them your phone number here and then you'll get a second step here, a code that is texted to you once you've done that and so you just have to go ahead enter that code here and then you're verified that you actually do hold that phone number now from there you get a this pop-up about drop-in now what drop-in is is it's a service where people with an Amazon Alexa app can actually drop into an echo or another Alexa enabled device so you kind of have to be ready for that idea. Obviously, if this is in your bedroom, you maybe don't want someone to be able to just drop in on you. And if we're talking about someone with an Echo Show here, I think you definitely don't want them to be able to just drop in on you. You want to make those all outbound conversations. Now, once you've done that, you have the whole process set up here. So you're all complete. But I, like I said, I would show you what the icon is in the app that you would have to actually tap on here if you didn't get this popping up right away in your application. And it's that little message bubble down at the bottom right in the middle there. So if you didn't get that initial setup that just asked you to get started, that's where it is right there. So you just tap on that. Now once you're set up here, we're gonna explore this functionality a little bit. What you have on the main page here is a list of your recent contacts. So you can see my name, Brian, there, and I'm someone who has recently communicated with this Echo or this Alexa app. Now you can see this green little one that's off to the right here that actually says that I have one message from that contact. Now I'll go into there, but it's not actually a message from that contact. It's just giving me a little bit additional information. But down at the bottom, I can audio call or video call based on just tapping on that button and choosing either of them. And so then it actually does make that phone call based on what you've chosen here. Now I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to end that because there's not much point in me calling myself here. Now back to the main page here in terms of messaging within the Alexa app. Up in the top right, you can actually tap the little person. And once you do that, you can choose any of your contacts here. You can see all of their different contact information. You can send them a message. You can call them or you can video call them. So now I'm gonna show you within a contact here, if you tap on their name on the home page here in the messaging service, you can actually go ahead and send them an audio message. So once you just tap on the little microphone there, you get this prompt and you go ahead and you just speak into your phone or your tablet or whatever device. And then Alexa will actually transcribe what you've said. So it'll just show up and you can see that I said sending a test message. So now I'm going to show you how this shows up on the Echo devices you have themselves. You'll see I have an Echo Plus. This would be relatively the same on an Echo Dot or an Echo. So it really doesn't matter here. But the first thing I want you to notice is that I can have both sides of the conversation here. So I can ask for messages that I've received and I can also send messages. So here we go. Alexa, play my messages. One for Brian, from Brian. 
Sending a test message. Received just now. Alexa, send a message. To whom? Brian. What's the message? Here's a message back. Sending to Brian from Brian. Now one thing you should notice is the yellow light that's actually sitting there on the top of my Echo device flashing. So that actually signifies that you do have a message for you. So that's how you always know from your Echo device if somebody sent you a message and then you can just ask the Echo to play the messages like you saw there. Now here back in the application, you can see down at the bottom, here's a message back has shown up there. I can play it on my phone if I want or, or my application here and then you could listen to it. So this means that people with a simple Amazon Alexa application and that's anyone who has an iPhone or an Android device they can go get an Amazon Alexa application here and they can send and receive messages with you on your Echo device so I think that's pretty good functionality actually it, it kinda reminds me of all of the other messaging services just like Facebook Messenger and so now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to ask my Echo to give me those messages again. Like I said, you can kind of play both sides of the conversation here just because I'm sending messages to myself. Alexa, what's my messages? One for Brian, from Brian. Here's a message back. Received just now. So now in another demo here, I'm going to show you the drop-in feature. So this is right on the top of the screen here. I can just hit drop-in and then I've got to choose the device that I'm dropping in on. And this is a setting I'll show you how to actually turn off. Hello? So I'm going to go ahead and end that because there's not a lot to it. But if you don't want people to be able to drop in on your device, then you have to actually go into the settings of your Alexa app and you're going to have to do this for each Echo, Echo Dot, Echo Plus, whatever device you have, you're going to have to do it for each. So you can see I have two devices, one called number two and one called tiny. I'm going to disable drop in within both of those. So just going to head in, you got to scroll down a little bit and you can see drop in. Now the one option here is only my household. So you have to then say who's in your household from your contacts to say who can actually drop in if you choose that setting. So just one other method I want to show you here on how to control who can drop in and who can't is actually back to our contacts list and I'm just going to go right into a contact here but you can actually see down at the bottom of that contact you can actually turn on or off allow drop in so you know you make sure that certain people are able to drop in on you through directly through your contacts list if you want to manage it that way all right, well, there you go. Now, you know, I kind of said it in the video there. What I really like about that feature is the fact that you can, you can both call and, and receive messages. They're kind of waiting for you and your Echo gives you a visual notification there. The other thing that I really like is it's a lot like, you know, a Facebook Messenger or another messaging service that we've kind of become accustomed to over the years here in that really you can just have your friends on those lists and you can message back and forth based on them having an Echo device or even just the Alexa app. So that's really great functionality that we have here from Amazon. Either way, I hope this video has helped you. And if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.